what's going on guys this is the leon light uh, seven inch retaining wall block light um it seems extremely nicely built uh, we have an aluminum uh, protective housing on it and all the leds themselves are encased in some type of resin uh, as is the electrical wire back there uh, it's kind of hard to see here but I measured this out and it does come with a uh, nine inch lead on it. So that really reduces your uh, cost for low voltage landscape lighting wire because at the moment with copper, it's actually kind of expensive. Uh, so let's get these installed up. So I guess everyone will come up with their own way to accomplish this, but one way or another, you need to cut a channel on the top course of blocks, but before the capstones. I placed a seven inch diamond blade on my circular saw and set the depth to about three eighths. I thought this would be the right tool for the job because I could easily cut a straight line while simultaneously not removing too much material. And right here is pretty much exactly how you want it to fit. To tie it into your low voltage system, you'll need to make two three-way connections, one for incoming power, one to the light, and a third that feeds the next one down the line. Go ahead and strip off about half an inch and use in-ground rated waterproof wire nuts to tie them together. The manufacturer does actually include these, however, I found the ones supplied were really cheap and had a tough time grabbing the wire securely, so I just went with some tried and true dry cons. Finally, to tie everything up, I wrapped the whole assembly in some friction tape, just to make sure it doesn't pull apart. And here is everything lit up at dusk. I think they look just fantastic. Depending on the size of your cap overhang, you may or may not fully conceal the light when viewed from above. It sticks out about half an inch. Alright guys, it is super dark out here right now, but I just wanted to show you guys what these uh, look like uh, at full on night. Um, this video they're coming out is pretty bright. They're actually not that bright. I think they are just an absolute perfect amount of light, actually. Um, not so bright that they're like glaring on your landscape or anything, but definitely bright enough that they'll like light up a walkway or whatever. So I think the actual lumen output is just right where it needs to be.